All right, let's now shift our attention to some other stories. Now, where at least about seven people are reported to be killed as Afghan forces retaliate to a Taliban attack in the city of Kunduz. Now, the Afghan government has said that the Taliban have once again attacked Kunduz, which is amongst the conflict-hit country's largest cities. Now, clashes have been ongoing since midnight. The attack comes amidst the U.S. Taliban peace attack. Meanwhile, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani's spokesperson has tweeted that the government's top priority is to protect civilians. Now, this as the Taliban takes its position in civilian areas. Now, the Taliban has also attacked Kunduz, which is a strategic city, several times in the past. Kunduz, of course, fell to the Taliban back in the year 2015. Meanwhile, Pakistan reportedly has buckled under pressure and has now taken action regarding the forceful conversion of a Sikh girl. Now, Jagjit Kaur, remember, who had been married off forcefully to a Jamatud Dawa operative, has now been returned to her family. And this comes after immense pressure from the Sikh community in Pakistan and also the strong condemnation from India. The further eight people involved in the case, including the boy's father, have been arrested by the Nankana police. After videos emerged of the girl being forcefully married, there was an immense backlash within Pakistan. The Sikh community in Pakistan was enraged by the incident. There were also threats of boycott from community leaders who were scheduled to attend the Sikh convention. ਬੜੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਵਾਲੀ ਗੱਲ ਆ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆ ਜੋ ਹਾਦਸਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਕੱਲ ਨਨਕਾਣਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਗੁਰਦੰਥੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਲੜਕੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਸਚਾਈ ਆ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਝੂਠ ਆ ਇਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਕਨਵੈਨਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਆਏ ਸੀਗੇ ਪਰ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਿੱਖ ਸੰਗਤ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਖੜੇ ਆ ਇਹ ਉਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਵਾਸ ਮਾਉਂਟਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਇੰਡੀਆ ਸਾਈਡ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਚੀਫ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਅਮਰਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਹੈ ਟਵੀਟਡ ਆਸਕਿੰਗ ਇਮਰਾਨ ਖਾਨ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਇਮੀਡੀਏਟ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਅਗੇਂਸਟ ਦ ਪਰਪੈਟਰੇਟਰਸ ਹੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਹੈਸ ਅਰਜ ਇੰਡੀਆਸ ਫੋਰਨ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਐਸ ਜੈ ਸ਼ੰਕਰ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਅਪ ਦ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਵਿਦ ਹਿਸ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨੀ ਕਾਊਂਟਰਪਾਰਟ ਨਾ ਦ ਇੰਡੀਅਨ ਗਵਰਨਰ ਹੈਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਇਸ਼ੂਡ ਐਨ ਅਫੀਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਔਨ ਦ ਅਬਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਫੋਰਸਡ ਕਨਵਰਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਜਗਜੀਤ ਕੌਰ ਦ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਐਕਸਟਰਨਲ ਅਫੇਅਰਸ ਹੈਸ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅਵੇਅਰ ਆਫ ਦ ਇਨਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਹੈਡ ਇਨ ਫੈਕਟ ਰਿਸੀਵਡ ਰੈਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਫਰਮ ਵੇਰੀਅਸ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਸਿੱਖ ਗਰੁੱਪਸ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆ the india asked pakistan to take immediate remedial action in the case all right now for women living in pakistan life is not easy from forced conversions to now a case of honor killing pakistan's social fabric is indeed in rather poor health now pashto artist Sana was allegedly killed by her own brother in what has been described as a case of honor killing. Now, Sana was stabbed to death near a famous Pashto music center in the Sawat district in Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunwa. Now, according to reports, her brother, who is also the alleged killer, escaped after committing the murder. The Khyber Pakhtunwa has a bloody track record when it comes to female Pashto musicians. And also a couple of months back on the 7th of May a local singer named Meena was killed in the Sawat district and according to the police her husband was the one who was responsible for the murder. Now go back a few years to the year 2012 and there was the death of singer Ghazala Javed a Pakistani court had ruled that her former husband was behind the murder. Now Aman Udas another singer had been killed by her own brothers in her apartment and the reason was performing on live television. Now, these are just a few of the high profile instances of honor killing in Pakistan. Now according to a report by the World Human Rights Watch there are around 1000 honor killings pretty much every year in Pakistan and this means that about 1/5 of the world's honor killings actually take place in Pakistan. The ad child marriages and forceful conversions in Pakistan is in fact one of the worst places for women to live.